Hey everyone, this is Dimitri Pergamonic with MarketChameleon.com. In this video, we're going to go over an example of an option box spread strategy. We're going to cover how do you set up the strategy. We're going to run out, run the option profit calculator to see where you profit, what the goal of the strategy is, and then we're going to discuss some of the risks. And let's use SPY in this example. I brought up the options chain. And we're going to start setting up the strategy it consists of four legs. Um, and we could think of it as selling a call spread and selling a put spread using the same strikes. So let's start out this way. Um, we're going to sell a call spread in SPY. So we're going to go sell the 425 call. And then we're going to come up here and buy the 430 put. And then we're going to sell the put spread we're going to start out selling the 430 put and buying the 425 put right so you could see here we have four legs to the strategy um you could also think about it as buying and selling a synthetic so before we run the strategy um the payout diagram the objective of the strategy is if you're selling it the ideally the maximum value of this spread is the difference between the strikes okay so here we have um five dollar difference between the strikes 425 and 430 so at expiration if this trade is frictionless then it will be worth five dollars at expiration no matter where the stock is um so if you're buying it below five dollars then you want to profit from the difference between where you bought it and the five dollars at expiration and if that's more than the risk-free rate then it might be worth um, looking into it and if you're selling it you're collecting you're collecting whatever you sold it for and if you're buying it back for five dollars you could be in essence borrowing um, for less than maybe your borrowing costs or if you sell it above five dollars um and then buy back at five dollars that'll be even better because you're just buying it back cheaper but there are some risks involved with it that you need to understand so we're going to run this uh payout payout diagram right now and take a look at this specific strategy and let's calculate that and as you could see here this strategy is currently bid more than five dollars right we have if we sell it right on the markets we receive a credit of 501 the midpoint is 505 and and you could see here that the spread here is eight cents between the bid and the offer now if nothing happens and you don't get exercise or assigned then at the end the the you will be able to get that five dollar you will be able to buy back for five dollars keeping that one penny in theory however there are risks to it that you need to understand one is the early exercise if one of your short legs gets exercised you get assigned it breaks up the strategy um also you do have pin risk um where if the stock um closes at exactly one of your strikes then you're not sure at that point if you know your your options get automatically assigned um so there there are a couple of risks there to understand especially you know with the early exercise and pin risk which breaks up that strategy so let's let's just take a look at what it would look like if you got assigned on your short put so over here you see you sold a put at 430 now let's say you got assigned on it well the put goes away right now you only have these three legs and then you end up being long 100 shares of stock right because once your put is assigned it's put to you and that converts to long stock and the person who exercises will be short stock so let's recalculate that and see what the payout diagram looks like then and as you could see there it looks similar to a call and of course 
once you're long stock, if you're long the stock, um, there is a carry cost to that stock. Either you're borrowing to get long that stock or you're using up capital reserves that you are no longer earning interest on, interest on to be long that stock. So it's important to understand the risks, the rewards, and when this strategy might be appropriate in your overall portfolio. So hopefully everyone, this was helpful and hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks.